Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. Now in this video we are moving forward. There was a problem in the previous example. The problem is the upfront payment of premium. Now on a $1 billion, Goldman Sachs was paying $8 billion of premium. Although this was 0.80%. This is a very small amount. For Goldman Sachs this is nothing. Nothing. It's a very small amount. Penny, right, to be honest. But still, as a treasurer, even though for a bank it is a penny, but as a treasurer, you need to understand that at least on the debit side of the PL, some flow is coming out. And that flow is $8 million. So you need to cap that flow. Henceforth, if you look at the heading of this is uh, interest rate risk management participatory caps. In this, I need to cap that. So the only difference between this instrument and the earlier one is that I'm not interested in paying any premium. Believe me, all those people, those who are talking about that, even in the zero cost caller, there is, of course, in zero cost caller, there is no need, no need to pay. And if you're creating a caller in which you need to pay, you can create a cap on that. It is a highly unfortunate thing that people don't understand these things. Banks are not telling them and sometimes banks are also also idiotic people. They don't understand that. After all, they are human beings. We as a company is coming up with a presentation which is Treasury Consulting LLP Treasury Solutions in which we will offer everything about that. All kind of interest rate swaps, fixed income swaps, you know, derivatives, foreign exchange instruments, account receivable, accounts payable and everything else we are covering. And moreover, my second book, which is Techniques to Hedge Using Interest Rate Swaps, that is also covering all these things in detail. And this would be the first book in this globe which talks practically of interest rate swaps, not these all uh, so-called theory. Now, moving back to this example, in this example, we assume that uh, here we changed everything. We assume that the participatory call cap buyer is ANZ Sydney, Australia, New Zealand, Sydney, my favorite bank, my favorite place. And another is participatory cap seller is Westpac, Singapore, again, my favorite place, right? Westpac, Singapore. So both banks are my favorite, Australian banks. Notional is $5 billion. We have kept notional very high. Underlying index is the three month LIBOR. Please remember that LIBOR is always quoted three months, but you can make it to one month, you can make it to six months, and you can make it to one year also. For that, you need to add an adjustment, and that adjustment is known as ICAP. ICAP is not a formula, ICAP is a broker. Similarly, like ICAP, you have variety of, uh, you know, uh, you have variety of uh, uh, brokers, but ICAP is the most liquid broker. Uh, you can visit their website and they uh, they offer uh, these adjustments which are very well uh, available on the Thomson Reuters. Very well available. So once you do, once you converting 3 months LIBOR to 6 months LIBOR, then you would be adding the ICAP adjustment in the swaps. And that ICAP, ICAP adjustment is common to everybody. Right, because you can very well see very well see on the Thomson Reuters. Or you are doing vice versa, you are converting three months to one month, or you are doing a little higher, which is three months to one year. So you need to add that ICAP adjustments. Right. So here underlying we have kept three months because we had not made it difficult by adding ICAP. We can made it more difficult by adding another ICAP adjustment. Maturity is three years, participation ratio is six per sixty percent. Note this very carefully. This is very important because if the participatory ratio is 60%, it means that the non-participatory, that the non-participatory ratio is 1 minus 60%, which is equals to 40%. Believe me, that is going to play a very important role. And of course, the total number of strikes is 12 because every quarter, every year would have four quarters. We are here talking about three years, the so total would be 12. Since we are talking about American markets, so the base count convention would be actual by 360. And in uh, similarly, like earlier example, we are assuming that the difference is 91 days, right? Now, if you look at this and went to our earlier website, uh, our earlier example, you would have get a difference. The difference is the option premium. There's no option premium here because as I already told you, as a Goldman Sachs treasurer, I'm not interested in that. I wanted to make sure that I act on a participation basis. So I have decided my participatory. Of course, there are people 
who tend to believe that this participatory you know it can be linked with the with, with the principle of moneyness like in the money at the money and out of the money to an extent i have to appreciate that yes this participatory can be aligned with principle of moneyness but considering the considering the flat yield curves which is of course not the case now because donald trump is a president which is of course not the case now but yes uh, there was a time when the american yield curve or the dollar swap curve was completely flat in that sense it is next to impossible to link this with principle of moneyness it is next to impossible henceforth we need to consider that as well now look at the formula we will compute this formula uh, just uh, two or three minutes from now henceforth you can see i'm carrying a scientific calculator right payout by westpac payout by seller this is westpac now payout by seller means if the index rate is greater than the strike rate now what is the strike rate i am keeping the same strike rate which is 2.5% which is out of the money forward what would happen if the index is lesser than the strike rate in the earlier case if the index index was lesser than the strike then there was no payout by goldman to chase because goldman has already paid a premium and there is nothing more which you have to pay over and above the premium but excuse me are we paying any premium here no since we are not paying any premium we are deciding one thing which is known as participatory ratio so in this it is a win win situation you don't know whose turn it is it is going to be since the total strikes are 12 every time the strikes is going to be changed so one time one strike would happen one time another would strike so you don't know it is a matter of time only uh, only only the time will tell who strike it would be so take an example let us take both examples and then compute the value also assuming the index turned out to be 3.5% assuming the index turned out to be 3.5% after 91 days since in that sense your cap is 2.5% it went higher something or else happened in the in the market or maybe federal reserve could hike the rate by more than 50 basis point uh, and any, anything else happened in the market the dollar swaps turned very high and it went higher than your cap to 3.5% hence westpac would be paying 3.5% minus 2.5% into 5 billion into since we have kept actual as 91 into 91 oblique 360 into please note this word carefully non participatory participatory was 60% so non participatory was 40% now this would be the formula so total roughly 5 million let me calculate again so that no mistake would happen yes so this is approximately 5 million dollars which westpac would pay to uh anz the floating liability which anz is paying would get compensated from this amount so one side on the debit side the floating liability will come in the pnl of the westpac or for anz so if you make the pnl anz pnl which is your debit credit this is the interest which is coming which is going and this is the credit of westpac so to an extent you would be able to knock off right but till the non participatory level as what i already told you this participatory level we need to be very precautious very very precautious don't take it at granted which people generally take it at granted right don't take it at granted another thing assuming the assuming the index turned out to be 1.5% or not take it a difference of 1.5% and you assuming that turned out to be half percent take it Janet Yellen not increase the rates, and she turned out to be completely dovish. The dollar swap felt down, and from current 
थ्री मंथ्स डॉलर इंडेक्स ऑफ सॉरी बाय मिस्टेक थ्री मंथ्स लाइबर ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट इट वेंट टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट देन इट वुड बी पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इनटू फाइव बिलियन इनटू नाइंटी वन ओब्लिक थ्री सिक्सटी नोट दिस केयरफुली द पार्टिसिपेटरी रेशो into 60% in the earlier cases we not paid because we already paid in the form of the option premium but here we are going to pay and the value would be let us calculate this 5000 into 91 360 into 0.6 uh that should be multiplied by 0.75 that turns out to be 13.27 million let us calculate it again so that no mistake would happen Sorry, that turns out to be roughly three point eight million. That three point eight million is to be payable by ANZ to Westpac. So it's a two-way flow, as simple as that. Since we not paid the premium, we are eligible for participatory ratio. So remember carefully. Select participatory ratio in an appropriate way. Select. you are uh, total strikes in an appropriate way and never forget the golden principle of caps and participatory caps because in the next video we would be covering floor and participatory floors right never forget this that in this in this the longer the tenure the longer would be the premium in that case there is no premium the longer the tenure the less would be the participatory the more would be the participatory ratio the less would be the non participatory the less would be the non participatory the less flow you will get here the less flow you will get here less would be the knock off i repeat longer the period longer would be this participatory ratio longer this participatory ratio less would be the non participatory ratio less would be non participatory less would be here and very difficult to knock off this this was the purpose of this video i hope you liked it we are already sitting in more than 312 technical videos and we are our endeavor is that by march or probably by first week of april we should cross more than 350 technical videos and then our next competitor would be khan academy who is sitting at 6000 technical video of course we need at least 4 5 years to reach to khan but that is for sure that we are going to make a very beautiful channel which would equivalent to the khan and channel is already very beautiful today we have more than 315 or 312 technical videos the total number of minutes watched is more than 6 million minutes the total reviews is more than 300000 reviews the total number of likes is more than 8k the total comments is roughly 8k and we are supporting more than 4900 videos in different different playlist on youtube so in the last two and a half years with the blessings of the lord just this channel has done wonderful and we assure you that and and we are just two and half year channel all the two and of two and half because our three years is getting completed in in july which is 20th of july so by the time we would be on the 20th of july we assure you that we would be able to cross the 400 video benchmark and with this we would be amongst limited channel who would have 400 don't forget that uh, we are launching of our technical presentation which would be titled as treasury consulting llp treasury products right what are the products which we are offering and this presentation is not limited to india 
This presentation is limited to across the globe. We would be covering everything. Since I served as a corporate treasurer, so we, 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 we would be covering everything. Don't forget that on 31st March, our monthly banking magazine is on the way, which is the Maverick Treasurer. And hopefully by 31st March, you would be able to directly download from our website. This is what we are doing. 31st March to 7th, which is the first week of April, you would be able to download the India's first fraud magazine, which is the Fraudster and very limited magazine in Asia. And never forget that Treasury Consulting LLP is developing a fixed income platform, which is scheduled March 2018. The first glimpse of that would be coming in December. With this, we would be in the league of CNBC, ET Now, Value Research Insight, and hopefully within few months of launching this platform, we would be launching the second magazine, second mutual fund magazine of, of India that we have not yet decided, but surely with the imminent launch of that fixed income platform, we would, we would launch that uh, mutual fund magazine also. And our publication desk would continue to grow. You're always welcome to connect us at www.treasuryconsulting.in. There are some development work which is going at the back end, so please uh, allow us some one or two weeks more. Mobile number is 9899242978. My Skype ID is Rahul5327 and my email is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. We would like to uh, uh, thank you very much in uh, that regards and in case of any query, you are most welcome to reach. And don't forget, we are offering 25 technical courses which would be live on our website for maximum by two weeks. And in case you have any requirement pertaining to the trainings, please welcome to contact us. And have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.